Hey, Matt Brown, gonna do some more Nirvana here. This is Cunt As You Are. Uh, let's talk about tuning and tone. Tuning is down to full step. With tone, we've got a chorus pedal going. Um, I'm playing a spa super chorus. I believe he used an electro harmonics poly chorus. Um, anyway, but here are the settings. The effects level's at about uh, 10 o'clock. EQ, 12, rate, one, and the depth is almost turned all the way up. It's not all the way up, but it's, it's close. All right, so um, with this main riff, we're going to start with some pickup notes. So that's um, two E's and an F. And then we're going to play an F note, F sharp, but rather, and let the A note ring against it. So that's one, two, and three, and. And then the last two eighth notes of that measure is F sharp to F, and then we're going to do an E5 power chord. Um, sorry, pluck the B note, and then do E to F to start the riff again. So, slowly. talk about what happens as we go into the chorus. The last measure is um, instead of doing the back to that we just do um, we're going to do one and two and and four and like that on an E chord. So into the chorus. So the chorus chords are F sharp sus 4. So that's 2, 4, 4, 4, 2, 2. And for the chorus we're going to get a little bit louder. Um, and then we have an A chord. And that's just our rock A four middle strings. So we get this. So um, we get this dotted quarter note thing on the low strings of the F sharp sus4. Then we get the high notes and then like a little thing to transition. Um, and then with the A chord, he's alternating the low strings to the high strings, like that type of deal. And then the last time we get and we're into the riff. So make sure you cut off that A chord so it's not ringing into that those pickup notes um, as we go back into the verse. All right, um, now we have a bridge to talk about. Um, and the bridge is really simple. There's like, um, uh, well, I'll just play it for you. It's just a... Type of, type of deal. So the rhythm's one, two, and, and four, and. Like that. So that's a B5 power chord and then a D chord. Um, there's a little, like, as it comes in, there's like a big slide from S, F sharp power chord. Like one, two, three. he's going to do one and two and, and then back into the rip. Um, so when 
I play the riff dirty, I I don't let the strings ring. Here's what it sounds like if you let them ring. I mean, it's not bad, but it is pretty messy, so. During the bridge part, there's a, a second guitar part, um, and that one is, it's playing like, uh, you can hear sometimes the, over the B5 chord, it's more of a B minor. And then the other chord is a D sus2, so that's 5-7-7, seven, seven, uh, then 5-5. Five, five. So yeah, it just gives a little bit space between the uh, guitars and gives you some additional colors. So really you're getting the sound of like a D add nine between the two guitar parts, which is pretty cool there. Um, so then we have the solo to talk about. Um, and the solo is, it's pretty simple. So uh, we'll look at that next. Here's the solo play for you. One, two, three. <laughs> basically a C sharp, uh, an E, and then the F sharp. So, and you can just play this one with one finger. Um, and the C sharp is played with vibrato. And then you're going to slide back from the F sharp to the C sharp. Um, so in this time around, we're going to do and four and. And then on the end of four, we're going to catch that open B string. And then the following beat, we're going to bend our F sharp note up a full step. Like that. do it for come as you are i'm matt brown email for questions or um if you want some private lessons or if you'd like to tabs to this one all right i'll see you guys around